All right, everyone, welcome back. I've got AutoCAD up here in this video recording, and it's time to get started. So, of course, we're going to need to start at a place that is a little bit unique for me than it is for, for what you're going to be doing following along here, but there's some value in what we're going to do here. So, clearly, I already have a finished dynamic block. I'm not interested in just showing you what I've done, unless I want to take you through the steps. So I'm going to need to, as a first step here, uh, explode this block. So I have a couple options. I can, thought I could right click and choose explode block here. Doesn't appear that I can. So if I simply type explode, that is a command and this explode is going to disassemble the object that I select. So I explode that block that I already had created and of course now it's a set of lines and should be similar to what you created in your first drawing assignment. So here is where we are going to need to start the work to create a block. So um, Let's do that, and creating this block is to, on the Insert tab up here, on the Insert tab, I think it's the third icon from the right, I'm going to click this alternate arrow, I can create a block, or I can write a block, and this write a block is something that again allows me to save this block externally, that W block that I referred to. We're going to leave ours inside our file, so we'll just create a block. And of course, I'm going to get this dialog box, and I'm going to name mine Dynamic Bolts, and I'm going to use the number three, because I think I already have a couple of them that I've played with. And I want to specify on screen where my origin is. I want to specify on screen my objects. And certainly someday in the future I want to allow exploding and our units are definitely inches and I certainly don't want any kind of hyperlink associated with this thing. I have the option to say open this in the block editor but I prefer to let's just create it and then I can come back later and say I want to open it in the block editor. So I'll click OK and the hint here is where's the insertion point? And I want my insertion point to be the midpoint of this line. So, of course, apparently I'm going to have to turn on midpoint snap. And let's see if I can find that. And there it is. And in essence, this is the center of the diameter of the bolt. And this line is the surface that would rest on whatever is being bolted. So that's my insertion point. I'll choose a window to include all of those objects and they are there and now as I press enter I will be finishing that command and now if I click on this um, thing that I have drawn as, as a prior assignment I have them all joined together as one object and it's a block. Okay, so now that this is selected I can right click and select the block editor command and of course I could select the block editor command up here in my ribbon um, this always seems faster to me and this is just the workflow that I use so block editor is going to open up um, an area that's similar to what I showed as a screenshot the screen is now gray I still have access to all of the AutoCAD command tabs and menu bars but what I execute inside this black block editor only affects this block that I've created. So step one here is I have an additional properties box and AutoCAD has chosen to leave this thing floating when someone opens the block editor and so whenever I open the block editor the first thing I do is I dock this thing over on the left. You can dock it left or right, but you know, so for this set of videos, I'm going to dock it on the left. And notice I never, I never kind of come up to the corner. I'm not docking the upper left. I'm docking the left hand edge. So the left hand edge wants to line up with the right hand edge of my existing properties. 
And so we also touched on that there's these parameters area, actions area, parameter sets, and constraints for our block authoring. Okay, so here we have the block and we're going to need to identify those things that we discussed earlier as parameters. So this first parameter that we're going to use is this linear parameter. It's going to operate very in a manner very similar to the dimension command back in our, our native file AutoCAD. So I'll select this and I am going to select the endpoint of the bolt diameter and then the second endpoint and come over and place my text and notice it says distance one. So I'd prefer these names to be meaningful to me because I'm going to end up with a, a kind of a pretty good group of them. So I'm now going to come back and select this parameter and start to change the properties over here, right? It's what I get as a default is never going to be exactly what I'm looking for. So here is the linear distance name, distance one, and I can simply click in and retype bolt diameter. And over on the left, notice there are two of these cyan colored triangles. The cyan colored triangles are grips that are available to use after we have saved this block and put it back into a native AutoCAD environment. And so as a quote programmer, I don't want end users to select those grips and drag the diameter of the bolt. I want the end user to be able to select a diameter from a lookup table. So I need to adjust that in this parameter and that's all the way at the bottom. And it this parameter is how many grips do we want to show an end user and I don't want to show an end user two. I want to show an end user zero. I don't want to show any of these grips. Notice on the graphic screen those grips disappeared and we're going to adjust the base location to the mid point and it's a little tough to describe as we move here in the start but anytime I want to adjust a diameter I need both sides to move out from the center and that's analogous to this midpoint option. Alright so this first parameter is complete and we have somehow already taken eight minutes and so I'm going to close this chapter and we're going to come back and move through a little more quickly and put in some of these other parameters that are necessary. Hope this is helpful and we will see you in the next section.